Well, for years, Beth and Brad Thorpe looked for answers, trying to get help for their son Mitchell as he battled a mysterious disease. Now, in the end, that illness took their son's life in 2008, but they turned that tragedy into triumph by helping thousands of children. Now, joining us this morning are Beth and Brad Thorpe, the founders of Mitchell Thorpe Foundation. Such a pleasure to have you guys here this morning. Uh, Brad, I'd like to start with you. You played for the Dodgers. Mitchell loved baseball, and it was something that you guys really, a bond that you guys shared. Take me back to the time when you guys were going through the process of trying to figure out what was wrong, and just as a parent, I imagine you feel helpless. It was very, you do feel helpless, and uh, the, it was a long five-year journey in and out of hospitals across the country. Um, we traveled by plane, car, RV, at that last time as I couldn't fly him so it was a very difficult process and you're sitting there it was like sand slipping through our hands yeah. and uh, it was a lot of frustration a lot of unknowns and uh, we continued to fight t to the very end and you say mm -hmm. that key word fight because just weeks after he passed yeah. you guys turned that heartbreak into action and started this foundation can you tell me about the mission and what you guys want to accomplish through the foundation Yes, when Mitchell passed, there was nothing like this when we were going through it. So it was a really strong calling um, from our Heavenly Father from above that spoke to our spirits to, to start a foundation, to form a bridge to help many families going through what we went through. So when we created the foundation, we have several programs. We have our medical and home assistance program that covers everything that's not covered under insurance anything to keep the lights on, keep a roof over families' heads, food on the table, cover medical equipment, and then our second program developed into the healing and rehabilitation program. So when the children leave the hospitals, we found that they wanted to continue on with these therapies. We also hold counseling for the whole family unit, because st statistically many families end in divorce and separation because the stresses are unbelievable, and we, we don't want that because right. they are stronger together as a family unit. So we'll have things that'll even help the siblings because siblings get forgotten too when, because it affects everyone in the whole family when a child is diagnosed with an illness. And then our third program developed into the wheelchair conversion van. Not all of our families need it, but some are wheelchair bound and they need a way to uh, affordability to, to have a van to transport them safely. So every aspect when it comes to dealing with an illness, and you did mention yeah. the fact that, you know, for a lot of parents, when they come out the other side of this, sometimes their relationship doesn't. But for mm -hmm. you guys, it only strengthened the bond that you guys share. That's yes. correct. It was a, you know, it was a battle during those five years, but at the end, without each other, we weren't going to be able to get through it. And I think yeah. that's an important message for people to hear. You actually wrote a book yes. and you share everything about that journey, that dark time, coming out the other side of it, and even yeah. some baseball. Can you tell me about the book? Yes, the book just came out uh, the end of June. It's only been out a couple months. Worldwide, um, Morgan James Publishing out of New York published it. So it is a beautiful story. Um, it's going to help people. The reviews we've been getting already is I was a page turner. I couldn't put it down. I wanted to see what happened next. It, it filled my spirit with such hope and courage and strength and resilience to get through all the hardships that may, someone might be facing. So it really is about that whole journey of having that faith to fight that good faith of um, and your walk when you're walking such a hard journey such as this and other families that we help we kind of mentor them and, and know that they're not alone and you have someone here to help you get through some of the toughest times in their lives such an important message you're not alone how can people get involved in the foundation um, or maybe there's a family out there that needs assistance how can they um, get in touch with you guys? Well, absolutely. They can go to the MitchellThorpe.org website and they can read all about what we do and how we service families and children. And uh, for the book, they can go to get the book on the website as well at MitchellThorpe.org or NewCreation.org. What message would you have for many parents out there listening right now or even family and they're going through something like this? Because as we talked about, these medical issues really run through the entire family, not just the person fighting the fight. Yeah, yeah you know, it's uh, we help the families financially to keep a roof over their head, food on the table, the lights on, but it's also the emotional support that we provide. We've walked in their footsteps, and uh, so far we've kept those families that have come to us we've, as a whole unit, we've kept 100% of them together as of today.
That's incredible. Yeah. Thank you so much for the work that you're doing here in our community across the Southland. We appreciate your time and thank you for sharing your story with us. Oh, thank, thank you for you. having us. All right, Rachel, we'll send it back over to you. Oh, we'll actually be right back.